tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Joaquin Numeza! And now introducing the corner, fighting out of the red corner, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! You ready to fight? Ready. Well, no, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro. I'd imagine for the athletes, nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again, PC. For the Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowd going crazy every time. There were nights where Brazilian fighters could not lose. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy from the crowd. Thompson's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Circling to his right. Thompson gets hit by that leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Look at the turn in that kick. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Nice loop and punch. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He got him. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. He's having his way with him here. Oh, flattens him out now. This could be the beginning of the end. That was a slick transition. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Making all these shots count. There's another ground strike for good measure. Two minutes on the round one clock. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Jab snaps the head back. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Obvious limp there, his leg hurting for certain. Thompson's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on them. Oh, up over the top. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up, he went high to the low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice right hand. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Under a minute to go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, 
but he couldn't get the one to land on the button. That would end the night. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Twenty seconds to go. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. Final seconds here in round one. Oh, that horn oh. sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now on the way. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Just out of range with that strike. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, the connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Keep moving forward. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, Every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to fight. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Let kick lands. Good defense blocking that punch. Oh, Father Ray liked that one. A beautiful land there by Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Let's see if he can close the distance now, DC, and follow it up. Just over three minutes to go. Thompson's dive starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, he keeps going back to the... Oh! Another one. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might get finished here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice jab by Thompson. 90 seconds now to go in round two. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. 
I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in D.C. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off the left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the table. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, he lands another strike there, DC. And no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. He's got it isolated. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. He's got to be careful here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Thompson. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready. Ready. Go. Third and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and the high kick lands. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, beautiful. Hands up. It got checked. Steady. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Thompson's thigh and the outside of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh! That was a solid punch. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, and you are on wobbly legs. Oh! Wow, both of them are landing massive shots. Beautiful diving strike lands. Like that. That elbow was meant to end the fight. That's why he got such great posture on it. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? He's got to start throwing down. Nice transition. He's in the mouth. Grounded pound strike there now. Work. 
come up. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing, like, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. This is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Side control, he's pretty safe there. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Get the out here. Less than a minute into our third and final round. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fresh. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Oh, he got to his spot. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He's got to be careful here. Beautiful transition. He flattens him out. This could be trouble. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-26. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Joaquin Nubes All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he